Uh, yeah. Here, in Ma, your... even the fifth one was right. I thought it was wrong. Yeah, what? Can you tell me? The fifth answer was it right or wrong? No, no, all the answers are correct. Okay. Only a uh, place is there, uh, like a uh, calculation error, I would not say, or maybe you have missed a uh, minor mistake, or uh, just while solving, you have not noticed that carefully, maybe. So, this is the step. It is from the fifth question. This one, the fifth one. You have taken the equation and you were solving it. That was perfectly fine. One of the step you have written like this. This is equals to 0. And in the next step, you have written minus 2x is equals to 990 just. And then in the next step, you have also removed the negative sign. So, yeah. We will not be having negative sign over here, here because here also minus will be there. This will go to other side and negative, negative will cancel out each other, right? Yeah, I can notice that. Okay, yes. So at last you have taken x as a positive, but when you have... No, actually, of course, I took it as like that because meter can't be negative. So I was like, oh, I'd be positive because... So yeah, I just wrote... it will not be negative, but we are not getting negative. See, we are not getting negative. This 990 will go to other side. It will be 0 minus 990. That means minus 990. Okay. And by minus 2, you will do minus minus cancel out. So yes, we cannot take negative, but here we are not getting negative. Getting it, Maha? Yes, Maha. Okay, so yeah, and let me check who is has submitted. So from this batch, I have just got Maha's response. That's it. And Harsit and Zanab, that's it. Rest of the student you have not sent. Or what, Galvin, Ibad, you was there in the last class, I can recall. Nua. Let me explain the questions quickly. So two numbers are in ratio this and this. You can take one of the number as a 2x, another number as a 3x. Now, if you will just observe these numbers carefully, we will factorize this number. It will be 2 into x. We will factorize the another number. It will be 3 into x. Now, LCM means the common factor as well as all the remaining terms. That means LCM will be 6x. That LCM is given as a 180. So, 6x is 180. Okay. 6x is 180. x we will be getting from here. But, okay, x will be getting from here 30. Not 80, just 30. Now, while finding the HCF, here only we can say this x will be the HCF. We don't even have to find both the number. If you have found both the number, that's fine. But directly also we can say this is the HCF. Why? Because one of the number is 2x, another number is 3x. What is the common factor x? And yeah, x value is 30. So HCF is 30. Yes or no? Same answer you have got after finding both the number and after using the formula, both way it is completely fine. Next one, if one zero of the polynomial is reciprocal of the other, if one of the zero, let's say, is alpha, another zero is one by alpha because the another one is reciprocal of one of the zero. Now, we have to find the value of k from here. So, product of the zero formula we'll be using. Product of the zero is c by a. Okay, our c is minus k minus two in bracket over a is six. From here, you will be able to take out the value of k, which all the students have already done. Okay. Now the next one. Next one is very common question. A and B and uh, A and B are acute angle and sine A minus B two cos A plus B minus one. So here equation we'll be getting sine A minus B is equals to zero means sine zero. Okay. Then we can compare angle with angle. We will be getting A minus B is equals to zero. Okay, other one is cos A plus B, this one. Cos A plus B minus 1 is equals to 0. 
okay two cos a plus b is there two cos a plus b minus one is equals to zero so cos a plus b is one by two okay and here we will be getting a plus b as a which angles gives us one by two so 60 degree right and we will solve this two equation to take out a and b value okay now the next one x square minus one we are having as a polynomial the quadratic polynomial and we have to find the value of m plus n yes it will be zero okay because according to this if you will see carefully this polynomial from here sum of the zero if you will use the formula sum of the zero okay that is minus b by a our b is zero okay then m plus n of course it will be zero next one the total cost of a certain length of piece of cloth is 200 rupees. There are so many ways to solve this equation. I am taking one of the method. If you have used another method, it's completely okay. Okay. So, here the total cost of certain length of piece of cloth. Think about it whenever we go for buying anything, a pen or maybe a piece of cloth, or maybe anything, what we ask, what is one meter price? Okay. What is the price for one meter? And like what, uh, how many meter we want? Okay. Which, what is the exactly measurement we need to buy? That these two things are very important. Okay. Accordingly, the price is determined. Okay. So here the total cost of a certain length of piece of cloth is 200. Maybe, maybe one meter clothes price is X, okay? And maybe the person want to buy Y meter, total Y meter, total Y meter person wants to buy, okay? So price will be what? X into Y? Yes or no? Yes or no? X into Y, that is 200. Total price will be one meter price with the this measurement which the person is buying, Y meter. Okay, this is how if if one one kg of sugar's price is 80 rupees, if you want to buy 5 kg, then what you will do, you will multiply 80 with 5 and you will be getting the total price. Same thing I'm doing over here. Okay. Now, the next condition says that The next condition says that if the piece was five meter longer, okay? So what is the piece we have taken? Y is a piece we have taken. If it is five meter longer, Y plus five, okay? And each meter of cloth cost rupees two less. One meter of cloth, the cost is rupees two less, okay? From the previous scenario, one, whatever was the price of one meter, rupees two less we are having in this scenario. Okay, the cost of, cost of piece would have remained unchanged. The total price will remain unchanged. This two equation, if you will be solving, you will be getting the value of X and Y also. Okay, that's what we have to find here. However, I have seen few students have done very uh, good job. They have uh, taken the total total measurement like uh, the person is buying total maybe x meter of cloth okay then one meter price they have taken out this is the another method okay which most of the student from here have followed one meter price will be total price over x okay this is the price for one meter now if the piece was five meter longer so they have taken x plus five which is completely fine and each meter of cloth cost rupees two less. So each meter cost was 200 by X. This is rupees two less. Okay. Now the price will remain unchanged. That means still it is 200. And this is also completely fine. See, both are exactly the same. Both will, by using either the left process or the right process, you will land at same place. You just need to understand the scenario. Okay. From here, you are having just one variable and you have to find x. Okay. Next one. A train travels a certain is certain average speed for a distance of 54 kilometers. So the train is covering 54 kilometers with a certain speed. 
okay and then travel a distance of 63 kilometer and then also traveling 63 kilometer at a average speed of 6 kilometer per hour more than the first one 6 more than the first one and total time is given as a 3 hour the questions were very basic okay yes ibad your response i have not got what about you galvin Okay, so let me give questions from quadratic, uh, quadratic we are done, arithmetic progression. Just a second, no? Find A and B so that the numbers A, 7, B, 23 are in AP. Please do it now quickly. I'm going to solve the first one. Yeah. This is the first one.
Okay, uh, A is minus 1 and B is 15. Yes, everyone is getting the same. Then I believe A is minus 1 and B is 15. Here, basically, the common difference can I solve it? Yeah, we will be using the concept of common difference. Uh, that is 7 minus A must be equals to B minus 7. And also, B minus 7 must be equals to 23 minus B. From the second scenario, not from the first one. From first one, basically, we are not getting uh, A and B value. But from the second one, we are getting. Okay? If you will try uh, keeping B on one side, we'll be having B plus B. That is 23 plus 7. B. So, 2B is equals to 30. B will be 30 by 2. That is 15. Once we got B, we can use the first equation now. Okay, so common difference we have used since it is in AP, then the common difference, the differences must be common. Okay, common difference must exist. So here we'll be having 7, 7, 14 and here B plus A. Okay, our B is 15 plus A, that is 14. A we are getting from here minus 1. 28th term. Okay, Ibad. Say that the second one is the 28th term. A will be getting from here minus 1. Which term of this progression will be the first negative term? So, yeah, let's check it. Let's write the AP properly. Mixed fraction we are having over there. So, our first term 20, next term. Seventy-three by 4. Okay, next term. 37 by 2. Next term. 68, 69, 70, 71 by 4. Okay, this is how the sequence is going. Okay. Let's see which which term is the first negative term. But is it in AP? Let me check quickly. Is it in AP or no? Wait, let me check the question now. Am I doing any, any mistake? The first term is 20. The next term is 19, 1 by 4. Next term is 18, I'm 1 by 77 4. 77 by 4. 77 by 4? 77 by 4? Yes, 4 into 19. It will be 76 then plus 1. 77. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, it must be in AP. Okay, I'm checking it, but you don't have to check it either. Directly, you need to solve it. But still, I'm checking it because uh, randomly I'm having the question. So, I need to check also whether the, like, it must be in AP. So, yeah. 
77 by 4 we will be having. Then 18 2 times 36, 37 by 2. Then 68, 16, and 70, 71 by 4. Yeah. Now it is perfect. Okay. The first negative term, that means a n must be smaller than 0. Nth term. Maybe the nth term is the first negative term. Okay. Nth term formula is a plus n minus 1 into d. That is, is smaller than 0. Okay, our A is 20 over here. Our D is, what is D? What is the common difference? Please tell me quickly. 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 or what? Is it 3 minus, by 4 or minus, minus 3 by 4? Minus, minus, minus 3 by 4. Okay, this is smaller than 0. We will be having, we will take out the LCM. We'll be having 4 over here. We'll be having 80 over here. Okay. We will be having 3n minus 1 like that. And still it is a smaller than 0. Now this 4 we can shift to another side. When we are doing the multiplication with a positive number, the inequality sign doesn't change. It will remain as it is. Okay. Only when we are doing the multiplication or division with a negative number, then only the sign changes. From here we'll be getting the answer. Now it will be 80. Let's open the bracket. 3n minus 3 is smaller than 0. 80 minus 3, 77 plus 3n is smaller than 0. Now you have to shift the 77 to the other side. So it will, nothing will happen. Inequality sign will not change because again I am repeating when we are multiplying or when we are dividing by a negative number, then only the sign changes. So 3n, it will go to another side, minus 77. And this is smaller than minus 77 by 3. Yeah. Now over there, uh, when you took the 4 as the denominator of the whole equation, over there you're supposed to be minus 3 into n minus 1, right? How did plus 3 can? Yeah. I don't know why I'm... Yeah, it will be minus 3. Okay. It will be minus 3 over here. It will be minus 3n plus 3. Okay. And yeah, we'll be having 83 instead of 77 and all. We'll be having 83. We'll be having minus 3n is smaller than 0. Better you send this 3n to the other side. Okay. Then we don't even have to think about the sign changes or anything. Okay. 3n will go to other side. If you will keep 3n on this side, then you have to be careful. Because then minus 3 you will be having and that you will be shifting. You have to reverse the inequality sign. So better shift this 3n to the other side. Nothing will change. It will just get added the 0 and here 83 will be there. There you will be having n bigger than, okay, 83 by 3. You can also write it like this, n bigger than 83 by 3. We must be getting this only. 3, 2 times 6, 7, 8, 3, 7 times 21, 27 point something we are getting. n is bigger than 27 point something. So the first, first possible n is 28. Yeah, perfect. Let's do a few more questions. Just a second. Anyone having any confusion over here? Can you show the last part again? Yeah. See, I have done like this. You can or I am writing the other possibility also. You can leave minus 3 and over oh. here. Lesser than 0 minus 83. This way you can do Minus 3n you can leave over here and you will be having is smaller than minus 83. Now n minus 83 by minus 3. I say to you that whenever you are dealing with inequality, you, whenever you will be dividing or multiplying by a negative number, you have to reverse the inequality sign. So this sign, see we are dividing by minus 3. So we have to reverse the sign. It will become n bigger than the same. Okay, 27 point whatever. And we'll be having 28 as a first possible. First, first number which will be negative. 
in our sequence, 28th term. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. Just a second. The sum of four consecutive numbers in AP is thirty two and the ratio. of the product of first and last terms to the product of Two middle terms is seven is to fifteen. Find the numbers. Okay, yeah, the sum of four consecutive number in AP is thirty two, and the ratio of product of the first and the last term to the product of the two middle term. Yeah, it is perfectly fine. Please do it. Now. Yes, no, you have also responded for the previous one. Yeah, we were getting 28. See here, uh, try it, but I want to discuss this question. Let me know once you are done.
Okay, Harsit has already done 14, 10, 16, 2. These are the numbers. Okay, we will check it. Can you tell me, Harshit, how you did? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, basically, we have to uh, let the first four consecutive numbers be like I have let it A minus 3D, A minus G, A plus G, and A plus 3D. Now it is saying that sum of four consecutive numbers is equal to 32. So when I put all these numbers, the A is coming 8. So I let this first equation. Now it is also given that first number into fourth. Uh, term upon second term into third term is equal to 7 by 15. So by yeah. putting this value, uh, I'm getting the d square is equal to 64 upon 16, which is 4, and d is equal to plus minus 2. So I have yeah. a to a 3 uh, d 2. So by writing this number, I'm getting this number like a minus 3 d is equal to 8 minus 3 into 2, 2 then uh, this. Yeah, we'll be doing it like this actually here. If you will be taking the standard form of the AP, that is the first term is A, next term is A plus D, next term is A plus 2D, okay, next term is A plus 3D. If you will take a standard form like this, okay, you won't be able to solve these type of questions. Whenever in AP, the question will be containing this type of uh, condition where the sum of sum of four consecutive number in AP or maybe sum of three consecutive number in AP. If the instruction is like that, you add them, you add them, it will become more complicated if you will add this with this, with this, with this. See, A, 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 A. 4A we are getting, 2D and 3D, 5, 1, 6D we are getting, this sum is 32. Are we able to solve? No. Now the next. Yes. Now the next condition says that product of this and that. Maybe, maybe you will be able to solve from there by taking two equation and then by doing so much of simplification, which will be very lengthy. There is a way which will help us just minimizing all the effort. What we will do whenever this type of condition will be given that sum of four consecutive term, sum of three consecutive term in an AP, then we will not be taking this first term as a A, next term as a A plus D, next term as a A plus 2D. We will not be taking the assumption of AP like this. Okay, what we can do if, if we have to think about that three terms are in AP, three consecutive terms of AP we have to take and the sum of three terms is given in the question. Then three terms we will be taking like this. A we will be taking. A plus D we will be taking. And the one previous one we will be taking. Okay. One previous one. So we can we can take it as a A minus D. A ke pehle wala term kya hoga? A minus D hi hoga. Right? Right? So jab bhi hume three terms lena ho. To hum first second, third, ye three terms lenge. Aisa kyu kar rahe hum? Kyunki agar hum ye three terms lenge, A minus D, A, A plus D, aur agar question mein instruction hai, sum of three terms, to agar hum ye tino term ko add karenge, to easily, easily, bina kuch kiye, humara D cancel ho jayega, aur jo bhi value hoga, hum A ka value easily yahan se find kar paayenge. However, अगर हमने three terms a a plus d a plus two d लिया होता तो इतना easily a का value हमें नहीं मिलता. Now think about it that we are not doing any mistake. Okay, logically it is completely fine. That a p का मतलब क्या होता है? एक common difference होना चाहिए. अब common difference जो भी हम maintain करें same same differences just maintain करना हो. हमारे assumption में हम just differences same रखेंगे हो. वो सीक्वेंस तो एपी ही होगा, राइट? Right? तो जब भी थ्री टर्म्स, थ्री कंसेक्यूटिव टर्म हमें लेना हो और क्वेश्चन में सम ऑफ थ्री टर्म्स की बात हो, 
तो हम ये स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म वाले थ्री टर्म नहीं लेंगे हम थ्री टर्म लेंगे ए माइनस डी ए ए प्लस डी यही थ्री टर्म लेंगे जब भी हमें फोर टर्म्स लेना फोर टर्म्स लेना तो जैसा कि हर्षित ने बोला वील बी टेकिंग वी विल बी टेकिंग जस्ट बिफोर दिस वन थिंक अबाउट इट ए माइनस डी के पहले वाला टर्म क्या होगा ए माइनस डी के पहले वाला टर्म लेट मी राइट इट आवर स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म द जनरल फॉर्म ए ए प्लस डी ओके ए प्लस टू डी ओके ए प्लस थ्री डी दिस इज द जनरल फॉर्म विच वी हैव लॉन्ट इन लाइक वाइल डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर और इथमेटिक प्रोग्रेस इन नाउ बिफोर ए ए माइनस डी वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड ए माइनस डी मस्ट बी दे राइट या वॉट या बिफोर ए माइनस टू डी जस्ट अकेंड नो इट गॉट पोस्ट Yeah, before a minus d, the term will look like a minus two d. Before a minus two d, the term will look like a minus three d. Before this one, maybe it will be a minus four d. ऐसा कुछ हमारा sequence दिख दिखेगा. अगर हमें four terms लेना हो, तो हम फिर से ऐसे ही four terms लेंगे, जो आपस में cancel होके या तो हमें a मिल जाए, या फिर हमें d मिल जाए easily. Okay? तो हम एक AP खुद से create कर रहे हैं. बट ध्यान से केयरफुली हम लोग क्रिएट करेंगे सो so, अगर हम ए माइनस थ्री डी ले ले फर्स्ट टर्म उसके बाद ये टू डी नहीं ले ए माइनस डी ले ले ठीक है देन देन ए प्लस डी ले ले ओके एंड देन ए प्लस थ्री डी ले ले ऑल्टरनेट टर्म्स अगर हम लेके एक एपी बना दे एपी का मतलब भी जिस डिफरेंसेस कॉमन होने चाहिए ओके okay? अगर हमारा हम एक टर्म ए माइनस थ्री डी ले ले सेकेंड ए माइनस डी ले ले और नेक्स्ट वन ए प्लस डी ले ले यहां से जस्ट ऑल्टरनेट टर्म्स हम पिक कर रहे हैं और एक एपी क्रिएट कर रहे हैं इफ यू आर गेटिंग कंफ्यूज वेदर इट्स इन एपी और नॉट दिस वन दिस वन इज इन एपी और नॉट चेक इट इट विल बी इन एपी ओके कॉमन डिफरेंस यू विल बी गेटिंग ओवर हेयर ओके We have But not why we take alternate terms? See, Maha, here in the question I said no. Um, we are making such a AP so that sum of four term we will be doing sum of four term and easily either A or D we will be able to cancel and the other unknown we will be able to find easily over here only. That's why we are creating by taking the alternate one. Okay. Suppose you wanna take a minus four d, okay? Suppose you you don't want to take this one. You want to create something by yourself, okay? Let's try creating. Let's try checking whether it is helping us or not. Four term ही ना लेना है हमें तो हम क्यों a minus three d से ले हम तो four a minus four d से भी ले सकते थे ना, okay? Then a minus two d, right? Then a and then a plus two d. देखो ध्यान से अगर इन चारों को हम ऐड करेंगे तो हमारा सारा डी कैंसल आउट नहीं होगा और फिर से हमें एक टू वेरिएबल वाला इक्वेशन मिल जाएगा टू वेरिएबल वाला इक्वेशन सॉल्व करना तो फिर भी सिंपल है बट यहाँ जो सेकेंड सिनारियो इस टाइप के क्वेश्चन में दिया हुआ रहता है दैट द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द रेशियो बिटवीन द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दैट टू अगर हम सिंप्लीफिकेशन करने जाए तो हमारा सिंप्लीफिकेशन बहुत ही लेंदी हो जाएगा ठीक है इसीलिए जब भी थ्री टर्म्स की बात हो ध्यान से जस्ट जस्ट कीप इट इन योर माइंड वेन एवर थ्री टर्म वी हैव टू टेक एंड द क्वेश्चन इज सम ऑफ थ्री टर्म वील बी टेकिंग ए माइनस डी ए ए प्लस डी ऐसा हम इसलिए ले रहे हैं ताकि डी डी सारे कैंसिल हो जाए सम की बात हो रही है इजिली हमें ए का वैल्यू यहाँ से मिल जाएगा ए मिल जाएगा तो दूसरा कंडीशन हम यूज करके डी भी फाइंड कर लेंगे ठीक है जब भी हमें फोर टर्म लेना हो तो हम ए माइनस थ्री डी से लेना शुरू करेंगे फिर ए माइनस डी लेंगे फिर ए प्लस डी लेंगे और ए प्लस थ्री डी लेंगे 
getting it usually as a questions mein three or four terms ki baat hoti hai are you getting it yes ma'am yes so we are taking we are taking it like this is equals to 32 we will be adding all of them this this con this this con and we are just having 1 2 3 4 4a is equals to 32 a is equals to 32 by 4 that means a easily we got a as a 8 okay now the next condition that the ratio of product of the first and the last one product of the first and the last one see here also it is helping product of first and the last one if you will be taking a minus 3d multiplied with a plus 3d here also it is helping so as a structure humne is type ke question ke liye create kiya kya ha is type ke question ko solve karne ke liye humne ek as a structure hi create kar liya ki hame dono hi equation mein help milega theek hai and the product of two middle one see we don't have to apply distributive property also because we can see that a minus b a plus b formula is getting created over here that is given as a 7 by 15 okay so basically we are having here we are having here a square minus b square that means 3d whole square that means 9d square over a square minus d square okay a value we already know ओके okay? अगर हमें ए पता ही नहीं होता तब तो फिर यहाँ पे हम सब्सटीट्यूशन करते फिर मे बी एक क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्म जनरेट होता फिर उसे हम सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करते और रूट्स फाइंड करने की कोशिश करते मे बी रूट हमें इजीली मिल जाता और मे बी अगर रूट नहीं मिलता तो फिर वी कुड हैव यूज द क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्म्यूला ओके इट विल टेक सो मच टाइम एंड हाउ इजिली वी आर डूइंग इट सेवन बाई फिफ्टीन a is 8 okay 8 square minus 9d square by 8 square minus d square is equals to 7 by 15 you can do criss cross multiplication okay 8 is just 64 minus 9d square that we need to multiply with 15 and 7 with 8 uh, again 64 minus d square Now let's do the multiplication. Fifteen four times six is zero. Carry six, ninety and ninety six. Harshit, keep on checking the calculation. Okay. Yes, ma'am. One fifty five d is equals to four forty eight minus seven d square. Okay, we are getting here nine sixty. Minus four forty eight, and here one thirty five d square will become positive on that side. See, the simplification part is completely up to you. You can do your way. I'm doing my way. Ten minus eight two, and here we'll be having five minus four one, nine minus four five. Here one thirty five and seven five from here, two from there. That means one twenty eight d square. Okay, d square is. Five hundred and twelve over one twenty-eight. It must get cancelled completely. Eight four times thirty-two. Let me check four times. Yes. Okay. D we are getting plus and minus four. Let's see. D can be positive. D can be negative. We cannot say that we are rejecting the negative one and taking the positive one. No. Okay. So let's take. Let's see what. Sir, D will be two, right? Yeah, D will be two. Yes. Plus and minus two, not two. Yes. So it can be positive. It can be negative. Our sequence was a minus three D, a minus T, a plus T, and a plus three D. Okay. Our a was two. Uh, our a was eight. right yeah and d is d can be plus 2 is 8 d can be negative 2 please check it are you getting the same thing in both the scenario yes okay. yes 
so basically the four consecutive term will remain same doesn't matter what d you are taking okay so this is how we will solve these type of question whenever some of this like some of the consecutive term it says that means we will take a pause and carefully we will choose the ap the general scenario is fine for general condition but this type of special question requires a special form of the ap okay So yeah, uh, I'm keeping this much over here. We'll be 